Yeah, I got hair on my lip. <laughs> I just literally just spat on myself. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. guys, my name is Kira. I am a professional volleyball player in Europe here. I've been doing it for the past 10 years. And today I thought I would make a video that's a little bit different than the one that I made last time. I'm bringing on a little guest. If you've watched any of these videos before, you've definitely seen her face. She is my roommate when we go on away trips. My car buddy sometimes, we drive to training together. And she is literally always down to be my Instagram model. She was Vogue for me in one of the videos. If you haven't guessed who it is by now, then <laughs> you probably never will. So maybe let's just, let's just go meet her. Come with me. Right. Thank you. It's Lindsay Dowd. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? Or yes, you... I'm a setter. I'm from California. I've played six years overseas. Let's go through a couple of questions. First one is, what is your favorite part about playing pro? The biggest thing for me personally was my personal growth. Volleyball players in America, you play club volleyball, you play college volleyball, and you're on this line of how you are supposed to do things. And so when you go over here, nobody speaks your language. They don't Some have- Some people do. I, oh, that's I, true. I speak your language. That's true. <laughs> but it's not everybody. They don't have refried beans. <laughs> If you, know, if you know one thing about Lindsay, she loves her some Mexican food. Essentially, you're in, in an unfamiliar area. Everything is different between the grocery stores, the general language, but also the volleyball is very different. So trying to tackle that and finding a way to be successful and staying true to yourself is my most favorite thing about playing professional volleyball. Game. You grow up really fast because all of a sudden you're not only on your own like you yeah. were in college, you're really in a whole new world that you have to navigate. Yes, there's so many people from everywhere around the world. You learn different ways that other people grew up and you learn different perspectives and all of a sudden your mind is now taking that perspective in and it it changes things and it makes you think about things and for me that is the most beautiful gift about about this life. That's an awesome answer. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so wise. In this growth mindset that you have, what is it you do with your free time so you're not just sort of sitting around watching Netflix for example? I love to write. I have a blog. I've been trying to paint. I'm a much better drawer than I am painter, but... You're awesome at both. I don't know, you guys will see a couple uh, of things around the apartment. Just, I really feel like I can tap into that type of creative mindset. And also, I'm able to turn my brain off or if anything, like switch to, to something else. It's a sense of calmness and relaxation, which I think is so important for this mm -hmm. lifestyle. Yoga has been huge for me you kind of tie in the psychological part, the mental part, the emotional part, the spiritual part, with the physical part. I think yeah. that's one of the takeaways oh. for new pro volleyball players is try to find what makes you happy yes. off of the court as well as on the court. Whether it's yoga, whether it's drawing, whether it's painting, whether it's learning the language. Well, I will say you're a big reason why I've tapped in to all of this more so. You were talking to me about photography and videography and all of, again, a creative outsource and two creative minds talking to each other. This is why our car rides are so fun because yes. we literally just like bounce ideas off each other and we haven't seen each other all day and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I did so many things with video. Like I'm so excited about this and this. And we are like, yes, me too, with painting and drawing. It's good though. It's good to, to be able to bring that out in someone else. Like sit down and think like, what else makes me happy? What else mm. is gonna make me better? And then you'll you'll become the Kira for other people, you know, or the Kira. Be the so Kira. <laughs> Do you have an idol or a favorite volleyball player? Femke. Fem? Fem is oh. so hard. She is. We uh, love you, girl. We, we love both you. played with her at, on separate teams at separate times. Such a small world, but Fem is, first of all, to one of just the most talented setters I think I've played with. She's very um, patient patient with, with the hitters, but she's also very demanding. She knows what she wants. I don't really think she knows how good she is. I feel like that's also the sign of a good player is is they, they crit are self-critical. Yes. Not to a fault, but but they're always looking to improve. And mm -hmm. yeah, that, yes. for sure, in a setter, I don't know how you guys do it. You guys have to be so patient. I said this to you just after training like two days ago. Like it's so sweet. nice to play with a setter like you and like them mm -hmm. and like Ray as well. That, yes. That are just patient because you have to deal with so many different players that yeah. are working on their own. <laughs> that and then you, <laughs> you know, so you yeah, gotta like true. take all this feedback and then totally. keep your comms. One person that I watch all the time, just on videos, is Micah Christensen. 
Men are just, they're just naturally stronger and so they can direct the ball a lot easier with their hands. But mm. if you find any type of slow motion movements or sets or anything like that, Wash his hands, wash the slow motion hands, and you will learn so much. I too, I've watched him for like three years now, and it's just, it's very, it's a, I'm a very visual person, and so it's very helpful for me. Mm -hmm. Do you have any specific setting tips that you would give to young setters that want to play at a higher level? Like technical wise, get your feet there, get, work on your footwork, because it will really be a strong point in your game later on in life, again, even if it's if it, if it's in a month or a couple of years down the road. Again, hands are, just trust your hands. My sister would always tell me that. If you have big hands and you just let the speed go through, the rest will come. The last thing I would say is the mental aspect is patience. Again, you're working with so many players and as you get older, you start to realize all the balls to four are not the same, all the slides are not the same. And every player needs their own specific yes. ball with their own speed and their own height. They have tendencies too, one of our outside. She would prefer to have the ball die inside because she's got a wicked arm that can still turn it line versus pushing it all the way out to the pin because then that closes the court and you don't have much to work with. So it's finding a, finding the personnel that you're working with. If it doesn't happen, nobody hits off of a frustrated setter. So just keep it calm, keep the patience, trust yourself, and it will come. I know nothing so about wise. setting, but I know a little bit more now. <laughs> <laughs> Last and final question. Do you have any tips for younger players that are wanting to go pro? I was in a D1 school, you know, and that was great, but I wasn't in one of the top girls who won a national championship. I'm 5'9" on a good day. You know, I'm not like the biggest player, didn't I wasn't the number one recruit, all of these things, and yet I'm still, I've been playing for six years, and you and I have talked about this a lot. The game is so different once you get to pro. You can get as far as you wanna go if you truly, truly want it. Mm -hmm. Like, you are fully in charge of, of how far you're gonna go with that. And you, you cannot let anybody tell you no. You cannot let anybody tell you that you're not good enough, you're not big enough. If you have drive, if you care yourself, if you work hard, you know, and you find your weaknesses and you turn it into a strength of yours, you will make it and you will crush it. And you will walk off like Tatra Khan. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's really good advice because, yeah, yeah not, all, not all pro players come from a huge volleyball school or yeah. are the number one recruit, like you said. Like, it really is there are so many different levels of playing pro volleyball and you can start in A and end in Z. Totally. You don't have to be the best when you're starting out. You just have to have a drive, you have to have motivation and hard work and it's you, the can, biggest. you can make this your life if this is something you so desire. It's such a great life. You know, you meet <laughs> such great people, you get to find out and find out things about yourself and, and travel and see the world, you know, and Thank you so much for sitting down with me, having this interview. It's been a uh, pleasure. It was more like a conversation, really, than an interview, but I feel yeah. like that's just the best way to get information across. I hope you guys, you guys, enjoyed it, and and you, and you, you and you. No. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> focus, focus on me, Kevin. Focus on me. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Nailed it. Episode two coming soon. Check it out. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys got some value out of that. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, click subscribe. And if there's somebody that you want to see me get an interview with, whether that's someone on my team, anyone else that plays in France, anyone who plays in Europe at all, I will do my best to try and get a hold of them and maybe make it happen over the next few months. So leave their name in the comments if you would like that to happen. Also, if you have any interview questions that you'd like to hear, then also leave those because I'm not that creative. If you want to see more videos, click here. Not it, It's hard to know which side, like if everything's backwards. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time I turn the camera on. Bye! Oh God, I'm buying pink leather gloves tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I want it so bad. There's nothing better than a quality dance party. <laughs>